Hey guys, Ian Gallagher, aka DJ IBG, here today to talk about the new drum machine devices that come built into Ableton Live 10. Starting with Live 10, Max for Live comes automatically built in, so there's no more need to download separate installers or start up Max as a side application. Yeah, who needs that? So with this, there are some really cool Max for Live devices that you're going to find when you open Live 10. Today I'm going to just show you a little bit about the DS10 device collection, which are drum machines, and how I've been using them in my own music. To celebrate the launch of Ableton Live 10, our crew at Warp Academy has made a new course. It's called Warp 10, and it's the absolute fastest way to get up to speed on the new instruments, effects, and super sweet new features in Live 10. You get expert video tutorials by our team of Ableton certified trainers, plus sweet downloads like project files, samples, and synth patches to amp up your library. And it's totally free to sign up. Click the link, bounce over to Warp Academy, and it's yours. Okay, here I have a track that I'm working on. Let's take a quick listen. Okay, obviously this part needs some drums. So let's see how the DS kick might help me out. I have this empty drum rack here, so I'm just gonna go into Max for Live, Max Instrument, and drag the DS kick onto a pad. So obviously I've already got some MIDI notes triggering this particular pad, so let's hear how it sounds. By default, this device is tuned to F, which you can see here. And that happens to be the key of this song I'm working on. But otherwise, you can really easily change the pitch of your kick really quickly by dragging up and down here. Very convenient. This is definitely uh, something that a lot of producers are going to like. Okay, with the tuning done, it's time to sculpt this sound. I want this kick to be tight and punchy, so I'm gonna set the decay and the envelopes to be pretty short. All right, then you can add a click on top of your sound for some presence. Nice, that's coming together. Now I'm gonna use this overdrive slider to get the kick to cut through the mix more. All right, I'm liking how that sounds. And now I'm actually gonna add the new drum bus audio effect afterwards and use it as a final stage of limiting. So I've been finding that massaging the drive sliders together, both of these, simultaneously gets some really nice results if you're looking for a lot of smack to your kick. Cool, I like that. All right, now the next most important sound that I need is a clap. So let's go and grab the DS10 clap. Check out how that sounds. I 
dig the default sound actually, but I'm just gonna tweak it a little bit. First, I wanna make it less wide and more mono. So I'm gonna lower this spread right here. Then I'm just gonna adjust the tail this to be like a little bit longer, I think. And finally, I'm gonna bring up the tuning a bit just to make it a little more bright. And right there around 35, I think sounds pretty good. All right, now I wanna layer a snare under my clap just to beef up that sound. So let's add it to this pad. And I'm just gonna play around with the parameters till I like what I hear. Okay, I think I like that layering. So I think you're probably getting a really good idea of how these guys work and how they sound. So for the sake of time, I'm just gonna jump ahead and show you some of the other DS10 elements that I've added to my track here. Here I added two hi-hats, one set to sound like an open hi-hat with a long decay, and the other one a quick decay, so it's the close hi-hat. Then I have a crash symbol here. Now here I created another track with a separate drum rack, which I filled with toms for my tom fills. And finally, on this track, I'm using the FM device for a woodblock kind of sound. Okay, that about wraps up my introduction to the drum machine instruments that are coming built into Ableton Live 10. FYI, I've made this whole project file here available to you as a free download. That way you can go through it at your own pace, reverse engineer what I've done, and hopefully learn even more. If you like what we covered in this video, we got lots more where that came from in our free Warp 10 course. Rather than wasting your precious studio time sifting through a sea of tutorials, we've put everything you want to know about Live 10 in one place. Our entire team of Ableton certified trainers has spent the last three months making this custom course just for you. Hop on the fast track and learn Live 10 at warp speed. Click the link, jet over to Warp Academy, and you'll get instant lifetime access.